Welcome to Blazing Bullets. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, new Tumblr. It's by Thumblr. <laughs> it rhymes. It's the Ultimate Vibe 18. We're going to take a look at this. Uh, it just came in the uh, mail. We're going to take a look at it and see how it works. You're going to see it. Uh, it's a little virgin sitting in there. It's, uh, it's poured out. Okay, I'm ready to pull it out of the box here. If the uh, the tumbler itself is any indication, or if it's uh, any indication of how well it's built, <laughs> I'll tell you what, the stables and stuff in this thing were unbelievable. Um, hopefully the, uh, the unit itself is uh, going to be as well built. I heard they are, so well, that's why I picked it. Okay, well we got it out of the box now, and um, it's pretty springy, so it should not make a whole lot of noise. There was no instructions in the box, so I'm hoping, hoping that uh, opening it up here, there's instructions inside. Who reads instructions anyways, right? Nobody needs instructions. Nice little foam padded lid. And whoa, instruction. This doesn't look like it's in 20 different languages. And I guess that's important, huh? Do not stick your finger. Oh, no. And just take these instructions. I guess, okay, I guess as I suspected, we're going to have to uh, use our brass clean media, which uh, should be consisting of walnut. Yeah, it's uh, ground up walnut hulls. This is by Frankfurt Arsenal. And uh, it says seven pounds. It takes at least five to six pounds to put in there. So uh, we'll put the whole seven pounds, I guess, in there. All right, we got our crushed up walnuts here. We have to stick in the uh, machine here. Ooh, there seems to be a hole in the bag, so we better get this in here real fast. We're leaking here. Someone ate a hole in our walnut bag. Looks like a little tire or something in there. That's pretty weird. All right, let's get this in there. Okay, now we seem to have had it filled up. Oh. This as much as we probably should have it. It looks to be about maybe pound, pound and a half left. So it says got to have at least uh, five to six pounds in there, and it should be uh, having the capacity to clean 700 uh, pistol casings or 300 rifle casings. So we got lots of <laughs> got lots of brass. So let's uh, let's get her in there. All right, we got tons and tons and tons here. Okay. Whole box full here, and a whole bag full. I got more bags and laying around, so we'll see how the thumbler does with the brass. You can see these are pretty dirty. Yeah, I think it's a 357 casing, and it's pretty dirty. I think it gets in and cleans it up. It's better than sitting around here getting all nastied up. Yep, see if this all fits in there. I don't know how many how many casings that is, but it's gotta be close to 700, I guess, at least. Alright, we got the casings in there. Um, there was quite a bit more in that box than I thought, so. I don't think we should put any more than one this is in there. This in there, so this is probably about it. Well, it looks to be more than enough, but we'll see. Yep, see how the thumper does. I guess see in a couple hours. Well, I thought I'd show you turning it on here. And it turned on the first time here, it was making quite a bit of rack racket. So, for those that maybe not have seen one of these, 
we'll give it a shot here. We only have the on off switch to cool. This is some of the cases that run my top. It's making a little bit more noise than I'm not sure. Too bad. Should be shaking them up. Seems as though our um, brass is done. I let it run for about two hours, and uh, I was taking a look at it here and there, see what we had there. Um, looks as though I cleaned it up pretty good. And I ran, let it run for a little bit longer, but uh, casing seemed pretty nice. Um, inside, not there. Maybe see in there. I should have got my little flashlight here. Let me get a little flashlight. Okay, so I got the flashlight here, and uh, I'm not sure how good we can see that. But it seems as though it got pretty clean even inside. Let's see if we can get in there pretty good. Okay, so we got it down in there pretty good. Not bad. Anyways, we got a whole lot more to clean, so that's about as good as she gets. Alright, well that's my uh, assessment of the Thumbler Vibe 18. Now I just got to figure out a way of getting them all out of there and uh, <laughs> I don't know if you could do this by hand or probably have to try to get myself a colander or something like that and shake this out into it. Anyways, yeah, nice clean brass. Thank you for watching uh, Blazing Bullets. I add a footnote to this. It seems as though the 40 caliber shells seem to like the 9 millimeter shells so we're making new caliber sizes here it's a uh, it's a 9 to 40 <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of this um, a lot of these shells are sticking the 9's are sticking into the 40's so it's kind of weird looking anyways we got some new calibers the 9 to 40's yeah, we got another one here. This is a nine mil of forty-five. <laughs> wow, this is a thick one. I can't even get it out of there. <laughs> We're gonna have to do some prying on that one. That one is just shoved right in there. I'm not sure if you can even see it. It's uh, lying down a little bit. <laughs> nine mil of the forty-five. Got to keep adding this because it's kind of funny. There's a there's a nine forty forty five the millimeter. <laughs> Maybe it's just late and we're tired, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's a new cartridge. You know that it's reminds really... me of it's like those cups that you stack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a new brand here. Go to your uh, local gun shop and see if you can get one of these bronze here. <laughs> It looks like we're making up our own rounds here. It looks like it's shaped like a five five six. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, sure, we gotta keep adding little things here because it's funny. There's a double ended bullet. Which end do you fire? I'm not sure. <laughs> you can fire this end or you can fire this end. You pick. I guess either way you're hitting primers. So. See, if you've got a 40 caliber, you can stick it in this way, and if you got a 45, you can stick it in that one. <laughs> There's a different one, huh? So make a necklace out of this. All right, I guess we got to add a few more things on here. Here's our clean brass. Um, other than a few that stuck together, and we loaded it up with some more. So time to clean them up. All right, right, booty. Welcome to Blazing Bullets. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, new tumbler. It's by Thumbler. <laughs> it rhymes. It's the Ultimate Vibe 18. We're going to take a look at this. Uh, it just came in the uh, mail. We're going to take a look at it and see how it works. You're going to see it. Uh, it's a little virgin sitting in there. And just to see these instructions. And I guess, okay, I guess as I suspected, we're going to have to uh, use our brass clean media, which uh, should be consisting of walnut. Yeah, it's uh, ground up walnut hulls. This is by Frankfurt Arsenal. And uh, it says seven pounds. It takes at least five to six pounds to put in there. So uh, we'll put the whole seven pounds, I guess, in there. All right, we got our crushed up walnuts here. We have to stick in the uh, machine here. Let's uh, let's pull it out. Okay, I'm ready to pull it out of the box here. If the uh, the tumbler itself is any indication, or if it's uh, any indication of how well it's built, <laughs> I'll tell you what, the stables and stuff were in this thing were unbelievable. Hopefully the, uh, the unit itself is uh, going to be as well built. I heard they are, so well, that's why I picked it. Okay, well we got it out of the box now. And um, it's pretty springy. So it should, ooh, there seems to be a hole in the bag. So we better get this in here real fast. We're leaking here. Someone ate a hole in our walnut bag. Looks like a little tire or something in there. That's pretty weird. All right, let's get this in there. Okay. Now we seem to have had it filled up. Oh, this as much as we probably should have it. It looks to be about maybe pound, pound and a half left. So it says got to have at least uh, five to six pounds in there. And it should be uh, having the capacity to clean 700 uh, pistol casings. Not make a whole lot of noise. There was no instructions in the box, so I'm hoping, hoping that uh, opening it up here, there's instructions inside. Who reads instructions, anyways, right? Nobody needs instructions. Nice little foam padded lid. And whoa, instruction. This doesn't look like it's in 20 different languages. And I guess that's important, huh? Do not stick your finger. Oh, no. 